in the blue corner, representing the Army, Nicole White. And in the red corner, representing Western Counties, Bradley O'Connor. O'Connor in the red, White in the blue. So this is the second bout of the match between the Western Counties and the Army here at the Bristol Hotel. 2017, where's another year gone? I'm not quite sure. And this is Nico White from the Army in the uh, black vest against Bradley O'Connor from Intense ABC in the white vest for the Western Counties. Craig Turner alongside me again. And uh, this looks once more like an extremely well-matched contest, which I know you know a bit about it because I think you matched this one, didn't you? I did, yeah. I matched this show this evening and it was an uh, absolute pleasure doing business with the Army Development team. They're just fantastic, the commitment that they've got to the sport. Um, this is a light welterweight contest, 62 kilos, and uh, quite stocky kid, strong looking though, you yeah. that way. Yeah. Um, shot selection there from the guys. It's favouring close range at this early stage. Uh, more of a thinking about this one, nice. Okay. So, uh, what will Bradley O'Connor have to think about after the first round? He's sussing out the the army man, Nico White. Some powerful uh, shots coming in from to, from the uh, the army guy, but uh, taken on the arms by O'Connor. Again, both trying to land body shots at the moment. A big swing and miss there brought an ooh out of the audience. Certainly uh, some punishing body shots from both men coming in here. Just trying to get the arms down and then go back to the head again. And it's digging that left hook into the ribs. It's a vicious shot that, isn't it? That's right, we said that um, Bradley's very stocky, stocky guy, powerful, and uh, certainly making the most of his uh, attributes there, punch into the body. He's getting under the elbow as well, nice. There's very few that are actually hitting the elbow. They're going around the guard. And uh, Marty Dan and his team down in Intense in Plymouth, uh, they, they produce some damn good kids. And uh, Bradley will come no exception, however, early days. And uh, soldiers are used to taking, uh, going through adversity yeah. and still conquering. Well, he's so, taken uh, about half a dozen really tough body shots there, isn't he? That left hook into the ribs. So the core, the core fitness, the core strength coming to the fore there for the army guy. Uh, they were both, they were both going downstairs. Is, is it just me, Craig? Maybe I know I'm getting old and everything, but <laughs> I, I don't remember body shots being quite such a part in amateur boxing as it is now. That's right. I mean, we we missed a trick for so many years, noise that it's a far bigger target than the head, and uh, the vast majority of the time, it's not covered. Um, the head's moving. And the old adage in boxing, punch to the body and the head will fall. I think you'll find this is absolutely true. And uh, so now with the, new, with the new scoring system as well, body shots are almost favoured. Mm. So uh, as I say, it's working to great effect for young Bradley O'Connor at the moment. We know amateur boxing has got a great tradition, but maybe in the 60s and 70s, maybe the 80s, was it maybe seen to be not the done thing to... to concentrate on the body that's right almost um, as I say when the when the clickers were in it was one shot one point uh, everyone was favoring on the outside just headshots but now we're on the 10 point must system which is as near to the professional game as you can get uh, walking the guy down and nice aggressive shots to the head and body uh, seems to favor the, the judges yeah well this is uh, second round where we see the same tactics from Bradley O'Connor Well, the army boy getting in some body shots too in reply. So, battle of attrition over by the ropes. Again, those body shots just pinging into the ribs. Nico White backed up against the ropes, and tries the uppercut to get out of the uh, vice-like grip that he's under from O'Connor, just pressing him in, into that corner. And again, oh, that's a good uppercut there, got through the guard of O'Connor, so he just can't re can't rely on just being able to pummel his opponent. Uh, there's something coming back. Absolutely not, not with a service kid. 
That was great shot selection there from and another good shot left hand there. It seems that he can punch with both hands. Yeah, and he, yeah, and he yeah. replied with a, he, he got dug one into the the ribs with the left hand, and then the right hand came in and clipped him around the, the side of the head. So. Uh, doing exactly that, going downstairs and then opening up the target above. And credit to both lads, it's very, very clean on his side. Referee Ken Brain's not adding to intervene no. for holding or uh, any work from the heads. Very clean stuff, credit to both guys. Yeah, really tough contest. And comparative, still novices. I just see Bradley's had nine bouts winning six, Nico 13 and seven. So uh, very new at the game. Guys. Yeah. Well, it's a uh, tough sport, we all know that. And these boys are certainly proving it in the second round. There's the 10-second uh, clapper. And they'll be... They'll be very grateful to have a little bit of a breather there. Great effort, great stamina by both both boys. So, uh, in, the, uh, in the home corner, so to speak, the Plymouth corner, what will they be telling him now? Just keep up that same sort of work rate? I would imagine they know if they let the soldier get behind his reach, then, you know, it could be a different contest. So they've got to close him down and use his, his physical attributes. The army guys, I would imagine, would tell him they've got to get back behind his jab, get back behind the long levers. And uh, you can just see there, if this kid could fight like the coach, we'd be OK. <laughs> um, but the right uppercut left up because he had some success with the right uppercut, you remember, Nigel, in the, in the last yeah. round. But uh, Bradley O'Connor needs to keep that intensity up. But uh, this soldier, typical as we've seen down the years, Nigel, he will not go quietly. No, he certainly won't. So here we go with the third round then. Ken Brain holds the boxes apart until the bell goes. There's the bell to start the final round. So what will the army come back with in this final round? Do you fancy O'Connor's maybe uh, in front at the moment, but you don't quite know. So O'Connor with the right hand there, having some success. Of course, he's sewn it into the uh, he's sewn it into the consciousness of Nico White to expect the the left hook to the ribs, and then he's surprised when something else comes from a different angle. That's playing with his, with his mind as much as his body at the moment. Bradley O'Connor switching it around a little bit, not being predictable all the time, still landing sufficient left hooks, but when uh, his opponent thinks it's going to be a left hook, he comes up with something else. That's right. As I say, he switches the attack noise, doesn't he? I mean, you've you got a left hook to the body, left hook to the head, and equally the other side's like, ooh, that's a good oh. shot there. Left hook from the soldier. You can never count them out, can you? And a good right hand as well. Bradley doing the smart thing, walking him down, not giving him any room to punch. Just but when he does there. get the room, he lands, doesn't he? He does very much so. It's a great effort, effort from Nico now. Knows he's up against it, so he answers the call. Yep, so O'Connor then walking him, his man down again, getting him over into that neutral corner. And uh, White trying to fight his way out of it. Great effort by both boys. and. O'Connor's just regained his equilibrium a bit, but then walks onto one. That's right, superb effort from Nico here. Getting through some quality shots. Bradley won't be denied, he's walking forward, keeping doing, you know. If I, oh, good shot, left hook. Apologies for excitement there. <laughs> well, it's it is exciting, you're absolutely excused. And, and now uh, the uh, army boxer, Nico White, giving some back his, as well. He's, stood up to the pummeling he's taken brilliantly and he's now he's finishing off strongly landing shots of his own and there's the bell to end a fantastic contest they hug one another and they could quite easily i think just stand and hold on to one another just to keep standing because they put so much effort in and a lovely acknowledgement there to ken brain uh, from brad he threw a low shot he acknowledged it and uh, you know tremendously sorry for that uh, good hug at the end, and as always at Bristol Sporting Club, some tremendous sportsmanship. Yeah, certainly was. So, once again, the uh, judges have a slight conundrum. We'll wait and see what they decided. Ladies and gentlemen, result number two, unanimous decision to O'Connor in the red corner.